Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your entrepreneurship teacher, Tutor Professor Henry Buisa of Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. Not long ago, I listened to my colleague, Professor Laban Airo, when he was talking to the Luya community. Yes. When Professor Laban Airo oozed wisdom to the lawyers. That is Professor Airo. And the cartoon here depicts what almost Professor Airo was talking about. This is a horse, but only the tales and lawyers or leaders are riding a horse without a head a headless horse professor hero used the term center we are on the periphery but that's not the point professor hero in this clip seems to tell us that self-respect or liking who you are as a person, physically, emotionally, socially, psychologically, spiritually, and self-esteem for the, or the belief in your abilities and actions as a person are cornerstones of entrepreneurship. Without entrepreneurship, nations are doomed. Professor Hiro talked about handouts. And look at some of these quotations here. There is no such a thing as a free lunch, Milton Friedman. And everything you want in life has a price connected to it. There is a price to pay if you want to make things better. A price to pay just for leaving things as they are. A price to pay for everything. So those handouts are not free. They have a price. Let's listen to the clip. I attended some funeral in my area not, not so long ago, and I was shocked that in a funeral setting, the mourners are asked to line up to be given money. I was, I was revulsed. The word in English, I felt so, so demeaned as a human being. I went to that funeral to mourn the dead. And, I, and, and you, see, you can see mamas being lined up so that they can be given muhetlikin. <laughs> By the way, Maragonis, Banyore, Abadiriji, that is the worst level you can drive yourself to. <laughs> when we were growing up, Uziya Ebonde Siri Nidara, Muma Nyemama, Bunyaya Kumba, Siri, Haku Wata Akwensia. My own mother, they never allowed me to accept free money from somebody. That kills your spirit as a person. It kills your spirit and you will never become. There are blessings in, in inadequacy. When you are inadequate, you are supposed to work harder so that you can become. Yes, entrepreneurial spirit is killed by handouts, by free money. And what Professor Ayuro saw at the funeral that he went to is commonplace among Kenyan politicians. Watch this clip. Now, this lady politician clearly indicates that the hustler movement promotes handouts, but indeed, it's not the hustlers alone. Other political groupings too. Watch this cross section. Nani, wanasema mambo ya unity. 
sasa sema revanga hao watu walia unit juzi wamekuwa hapa harambe unajua kwa sababu hao ni watoto wa bluban hawaelewi kwamba we mama ukikuja hapa kwa mkutano ukirudi nyumbani lazima ukaloka kwenda shibambala nasikia waliwaacha njaa waliwaacha njaa hata hujui maana mtu kusikia njaa ni nini lakini vile mmeona hapa jeshi ya hasala si mnajua mtakuwa sawa si mnajua mtakuwa sawa And this is somewhere on Tika Road. The song Kumania. Money being dished out. Yes. Scrambling for free money. Well, not everybody. Some are standing by. And therefore we cannot say all Kenyans scramble for money. For free money. There are those who run for free money. But there are those who would want to work hard for themselves. This is somewhere on Tika Road. And Kuamina, wakati mefika ya kuamina? Na mwenje? Enje? Na sadeli sana na munga wa mbari. Yes, the women are now being lined up. And more dishing out. Of course, the putnis have their right to refuse. But like I said, there are those who will refuse. There are those who will not refuse. Politicians perpetuate it. Look at the movement. Look at the running. I don't know for how much. But that's the culture. Look at the happy women. I don't know how much she has received, but the handout culture has come here for the whole day to a rally just to get something little. The culture in us, this lady seems even sick, not strong enough. Look, others are running. She, she can't run. She came for a handout. This is it. And it's like the Kenyan parliament promotes handouts. It's like it's official. Look, report this parliament. House of shame. History of primary, primary allocations. That's not me. That's the star. And here, you know, speaker summons MPs over primary allocations. And that's what what does this senior citizen say? I can say? tell you for sure and for free. Those even members of parliament themselves, those whom you see them clamoring for some individuals, it is because of handouts. Handouts. Promoted right from the top. Now, some politicians resisted giving out handouts. But then, they, when you go to Rome, do as Romans do teachings, seem to have overpowered them. Kenyans now demand to be given handouts and that kills national entrepreneurial spirit. And this lady is telling us, they say, if you can't beat them, join them. But I say, if you can't join them, beat them. Because they will be expecting you to join them. 
So you will have the element of surprise. Look at this. They are demanding. The Vijana are demanding. The politicians have done it. They are not satisfied. Half a million not satisfied. They want more. The culture is entrenched. Yes. And look, am I seeing border border riders here? Assume there are about 1,000 of them and each receiving 500 shillings. Chances are some will go on a drinking spree and cause accidents to cause the taxpayer via hospital bills. The Kenya shillings, 500,000, spent on handouts, I'm assuming 1,000 people each getting 500, you know, it would set up some vegetable oil processing or pressing points in this Muesmiya's constituency. Farmers would diversify to oil crop production now that there would be market for the crop. Vegetable oil prices could lower to the benefit of the residents. The cake, after pressing the oil, would make animal feed. Now, Extrapolate this value, J, and you'll discover the opportunity cost of multiplier effects and both backward and forward linkages in this constituency. Yes, listen. It's a long queue. It's taking quite some time. Being given, which is 500 or 200, I can't say, but look at the queue. Even at 200, and one would wonder, you're going for 200, queuing the whole day? And the, our politicians, the MPs, proudly give out those handouts. And of course, we accept the handouts. If the MP would have identified a project that it's long lasting not the handout is being given now and tomorrow is gone not even tomorrow right away it's gone yes entrepreneurship is dead politicians are perpetuating the death but the populace itself must also blame it takes two to tango handouts energetic men able men lining up handouts and the politicians want to do that they don't want to you know uh, preach entrepreneurship because then these people will be rich they will not come for handouts and they will not be ruled. They will not be bought. This is what Professor Hiro is lamenting about. This is what the wisdom Professor Hiro was giving us. Can you have your no dignity, your self esteem, you know, your self respect? And that those are some of the cornerstones of entrepreneurship. Without your own self-confidence, without your own self-esteem, you won't succeed in entrepreneurship. You'll be dependent. And hence the dependent syndrome. Yes. As I said, not all Kenyans go for handouts. But the culture has spread. 
Look at this long queue. Very long queue. Handouts and killing entrepreneurship. And now, I listened to this MCA and I thought she has a point. She was talking about, you know, tax holidays. Long tax holidays at a handout of some sort. Long tax holidays could carry with them the disadvantages associated with protectionism. Our youth need not be overprotected. Research shows that micro and small enterprises in Kenya generally break even in 42 months, and therefore longer tax holidays may be counterproductive. Listen to this lady. To the next person in the interest of Honorable Cynthia. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Followed by Honorable Bwambok, then Honorable Mengech. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Uh, this afternoon, I rise in total support of the report that has been brought to this House by the committee chaired by Honorable Fred. Honorable Speaker, I must say the report is a true reflection of what the public participation entailed, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, just to touch on a few things that are in this particular bill that the report was written about. Honorable Speaker, I just need to speak to four issues. In the BBI report, Honorable Speaker, it has a proposal that the youth of this country be given some uh, tax holidays and some help holidays, Honorable Speaker. What I want to say, Honorable Speaker, is the youth of this country do not need any sort of moratorium. They just need opportunities to be able to take part in the development of this country, in the building of this country. Yes, tax holidays can be counterproductive. The lady has a point. And the Professor Ayuro's concern for respect taken away by the handout syndrome is well captured here. Handouts to the youth retard the entrepreneurship intentions. Rural manufacturing implied here is killed and the 24-hour economy dreamt here becomes a mirage. I think time has come for us as a country to start manufacturing more. We may not have the best quality to start with, but let us build the skills of our young people so that they can now start manufacturing and so that we can get them jobs that we can actually get for them because unemployment in this country is just hit the roof. And this is why you're seeing young people being taken for a ride. Watu wanawaita, wanawapatia kitu kidogo hapa na pale, na waona kama handouts is the way to live. I agree with the Governor Mutoa that we need to have a 24-hour economy. Let us work longer hours, day and night, and let, let us produce. Manufacturing, for me, is the way. Kwanza, ni rudie maneno mane neliosema kakamega. Kwanza, tulisema, tutafanya kazi masaa 20 na mane. Kama tunataka kufukuza, kutokuwa na ajira, unemployment, ambao wengine wa kubali, mipangilio yao inasababisha kutokuwa na ajira, na huku analia wa wenyewe. Tutaonyesha njia. Shift ya kwanza, saa mbili mpaka saa kumi. Shift ya tatu, saa kumi na moja hadi ama hapo up to midnight we work out the details na wale wengine usiku wa manane mpaka saa mbili asubuhi tukifanya hivyo tutafungua uchumi wa Kenya hii nilisema hiyo nitarudia kwamba ili nchi tupanue uchumi uh, economy yetu uchumi wetu itatupidi tukate ushuru kwa asilimia hamsini ni jambo ambalo tumelifikiria and we know it can happen in order to grow this economy by ile kwamba if you have more people ambao wanatoa ushuru because it is easy kulipa ushuru kilichoka sasa mkenya analipa ushuru kwa kaunti ya Kiambu analipa ushuru Nairobi analipa ushuru if, if we are the most we are the most tax nation in the world kwa hivyo mtifikirieni kwa hivyo watu 
wengi wafanye vihera na jificha wanaficha kwamba wametoa uh, profit aina fulani because anajua itaenda na taxman eh. kwa hivyo if you want to make it attractive to pay taxes it is possible cut it by 50% grow the economy horizontally mambo haya tunayozungumza tukiwa tuna ujuzi and that way hakutakuwa na haja ya kupeana handout handout atupatie mama mboga leo akule kesho asahau if you want to give a human being ability to survive give them the shelter of the road na sio kumpatia samaki anakula saa hiyo in fact watu wanararua pesa because watu wanaenda wanapeba wanapeba pesa bishop musili wanasema hii milioni moja ni hawa milioni hii alafu hapo watu wanaanza kurarua pesa hizo heshima ya wananchi wa Kenya inatukataza kushiriki kwa mpangilio kama huo ambao unadharau heshima yako watu wanararuana na hawana heshima yes self respect and entrepreneurship self confidence and entrepreneurship self esteem and entrepreneurship and these handouts look at this one they are going on in the full glare of children the so called future leaders is in the culture being instilled and cemented professor hero says this was unheard of in his youth in maragoli so where did the rain start beating us look at this a survey that kenyan youth think it's okay with getting rich through corruption look they are here the kids are here seeing what's happening it goes in their psyche and they become the future leaders look at them are we our own enemies yes look at that now giving kenyans handouts is very much like giving fish to a hungry man kenyans require first to be taught how to fish and then to be given the fishing lines that is the essence of entrepreneurship policy which regrettably lacks in kenya good politics is a concentrated expression of economics any aspiring politician who does not talk the entrepreneurship is an enemy of progress my future president whoever you will be we look up to you in this journey of entrepreneurship yes teach him how to fish you know better to teach a man to fish pango then na mpango uwezi uwe naye usipofikiria mahitaji yale ambaye mwishowe itasaidia mwananchi kujisimamia mwananchi hataki kupewa anataka apatiwe uwezo wa kujitafutia na kujisimamia hiyo ndiyo nchi ambayo unaweza kusema uko na wananchi ambayo wanajivunia na wanafurahia nchi yao yes if you enjoyed it like it share it but please subscribe and leave a comment or even question yes have a handouts free day won't you